Hello viewers, and welcome back to our let's play of Civilization Beyond Earth. I'm your host, PBG Chu, and we're moving on into episode number 7, I believe, inside this Let's Play series. And, well, um, taking a look at where we are so far, I've, uh, I've checked a few things inside Civilpedia and the, the manual of the game so far. Um, one of the things is that, as you uh, probably already know, um, inside this Let's Play, we haven't been at war with anybody. And, well, one of the things that happened inside uh, my own game was that I, I decided to invade another AI war. A AI player rather, and unfortunately you uh, you gain a very negative health bonus for invading people, and I, I, like generally speaking, I, I believe that the military portion of the game is uh, is one of the funner portions of uh, yeah civilization. With that said, I wanted to show you guys it, um, but unfortunately it doesn't look like the penalties are say all too worth it, mind you. And with that said, um, oh. My game is doing something really weird right now. There we go, now it's back. Um, but as I was saying, with the military thing, I don't know if it's worth it to perhaps commit to any military, um, say, engagements more so, because, yeah, there's a there's quite a few considerable health penalties to it. And the other thing was that um, I checked over how do you how do you actually get affinity easily. Um, from the looks of it, they, they have a very general blurb about it, but the two things are, you know, research a whole bunch of sites and effectively grab technologies and technologies being the front runner for everything else. So that's that. Um, this turn in time away from recording, I collected a resource pod which was sitting over here. So that's one nice thing, and I guess we'll just fast forward, finish this turn, and go with it. Oh, and that's right, we finished the second gunboat. Um, these gunboats eventually become cruisers, actually, so we're just going to use them to scout out the seas, see what's there, really, and um, yeah, just really roll with it. <coughs> One of the nice things about this map is that I really like how they paid attention to the detail in generating these worlds in the sense that um, near all of these canyons and all near the uh, yeah the areas with a whole bunch of mountains and I guess tectonic uh, shifts, they seem to have a lot more geothermal energy there than say other places, which is kind of nice. Um, so that is that. I guess right now we'll build an institute over here. We get another uh, quest thing. So let's see, this one is about zoology apparently. Um, this planet's indigenous creatures have given us quite, uh, well, given us trouble for quite some time. Now that we have an alien prisoner, we can study them in their natural habitat, and I guess we can study their weaknesses or their resilience. And I think we'll go with um, science and energy from these alien preserves. So we'll do that, and uh, we'll grab something just like that. From what I remember, we were building a second um, expedition to send over here, so we'll do that as uh, time progresses. And for now, we'll just get uh, some of these things moving. There we go. We have a second explorer unit, and I'm just going to queue them up. Uh, we're, I'm going to queue them along movement over there, and see how they fare. There we go. Let's get them going like that, and I'm going to get these gunboats just to uh, passively explore the seas for now. One of the cool things that you can do is that you can build a aircraft carrier, and of, and of course you can use that to uh, effectively just to strike wherever you want. So that might be a route that we uh, that we might go through for uh, for military means. But for now, I think fixing the health of our nation might be a bit of a priority. And let's just get these two gunboats to do some exploration for now. Uh, we have a trade vessel over here, so let's send this one to... Eh, we might as well send that to our capital. Speed that up. And over here, let's get this thing moving. Checking out some of the other places around here. I'll grab that. Um, I guess we'll grab a... Old Earth Relic here, seeing as how it only takes one turn, and that'll be the end of that. And there we go. Right, so after this area becomes developed, what should we do? Hmm. Because I think we have to fix up the health before we do anything, say, um, particularly drastic, so we'll see. And, oh, would you like that? We've detected some, uh, some covert activity inside our capital. I'm just gonna briefly check out, uh, what quests I have present. And, uh, yeah, that'll be that. Let's, uh, let's start a new route to one of the enemy or one of the uh, AI places to bolster our trade. Let's see, over here, we might as well build one more trade convoy. I think we still have a few slots open, so we'll see whether or not we can send that someplace. 
Torgovlia opieras nie na potrebach, a na sprawie... Everybody seems to want our titanium for some reason, one reason or another. We're not gonna give it up though, that stuff is quite valuable. Hmm. Had a lot of trade coming into this area over here. I think we probably should keep up uh, a few of the trade routes still going there, but we'll get rid of some. Now, I'm thinking about um, perhaps conquering one of Green's city or something like that. But um, that is... that might not be, say, all too bad or valuable there. But we'll see. These people, uh, Polystralia wants us to take on, I believe, the uh, the African Union. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll tell them that we don't want to do that. Because we won't necessarily benefit from that. And that's that. Now let's see what has happened here. Oh, that's right. We're siphoning energy from um, two areas of the world. We managed to finish both of the energy siphons, but it looks like one of our aliens have been dead. dead, dead, dead or what, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, detected. So that's not very good. Um, let's just get these guys to do a few more things. So I think I'll get them to steal some sciences. Now that we have a nice um, bag of energy to use. And that'll finish things off just like that. Right, so that should finish um, this mission right here. Or no, no, actually, this is a separate thing that we need another agent for. Um, but we'll see. Hmm. In the meantime, I would uh, really like to press into one of these nations, but there just doesn't seem to be any opportunities there. Right, so we're back over here. I think we'll build a few marines in the meantime, perhaps just to give ourselves some more ground power. And let's see. Ooh, this is uh, quite the thing. So, uh, fueling for the future, our engineers have completed work on the Xeno plant, fuel plant. Soon, our people will no longer be dependent on harmful fossil fuels of the past. This planet fields numerous op options for powering our civilization. Through each comes with its own pearls. Shall we choose to fuel of our future, the adequate yet abundant? Miasma or the powerful yet limited Xenomass. Um, so from Miasma we can get a flat bonus of energy and from Xenomass we can get production and energy but from only Xenomass wells and I think I'll go with the Xenomass wells for now and we'll try to exploit the two that we have here. These guys actually have a whole bunch of, and we might want to consider probably pushing into their lands or something of the sort, um, but overall I don't feel as though a flat energy but uh, boss or boom would be uh, worth it at this point. So let's go with that. Let's grab some um, trade based science, I guess, is uh, the other thing. And we'll send that right off. Hmm. So that'll do that. And how are these things doing? These gunboats are exploring away. They seem to be doing quite uh, quite well in probing over here. And, ooh, my oh man, it looks like we found the Kraken for um, for this round. So yeah, this is a giant uh, creature of the sea. It's like the, uh, the seashore to land. And yikes, that is going to do a whopping 51 damage to our thing right there. So quite the, uh, the vicious sea monster there as well. Um, so that's that. Let's see. Let's build a water refining in our capital. There's not too much we can do there. And, ooh, what can we do here? I think we'll go down the military might tree one more, simply because uh, then we can get the synergy bonus for it. And in respect to that, uh, well, what can we gr grab here? We can grab uh, Liberation Army, which will make founding outposts easier. Uh, if we had survivalism... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see whether or not I can probably uh, just grab that turn again. Oh, we're not actually... 